Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar and this is my friend Geek over here. This is another episode of the Loot Crate Anime Edition. So uh, here we go with a new box. And uh, pretty simple, straightforward, uh, standard sized box. They're, they're usually pretty almost square. Uh, so there you go. There's nothing really identifying on it. Of course, they do have the loot anime hashtag on the side there. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it and uh, find out what we've got inside. All right, everybody. Well, here we go. We've got the uh, assortment of products here inside the, that was inside the box. And of course, this right here is the, um, the box. And uh, as you can see, it kind of looks like a set of books. There you go. There's the box right there turned inside out. Uh, so another kind of neat thing with it. Um, Let's go ahead and uh, do the uh, poster first and, uh, you know, kind of get that out of the way. Of course, we all know that uh, we have the picture on the front side and then there is some information of uh, the products here uh, on the back. Uh, now, Geek did tell me that she does seem to know what most of these are. I actually know what this one is, at least a little bit, um, and we'll get into that in just a moment. But uh, here we go with the poster. And uh, of course this thing is huge and hard to see in the camera completely, but there we go. There's a pretty good, pretty good pick of it. And you can of course see the uh, woman or girl there and then these kind of cloud-esque looking dragons. There's of course the eagle there or maybe a hawk. Um, there is a tiger over here as well. So uh, kind of cool. Uh, pretty pretty neat and mystical and uh, magic like now down here at the bottom it says it is illustrated by June J U N and uh, that's by uh, collateral damage studios is uh, I'm guessing who that person works for now of course on the back it does have all of the products um, that are in the box and as you can see, Gods and Spirits is the theme of this box this time. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, you want to go ahead and pick one of these here, Geek? Let's see, what, uh, see which ones we want to go with first. I'll start off by showing the charm. Uh, this is Yume, the uh, Loot Crate anime's mascot of sorts. She's the girl that shows up often. She's on the poster as well. She's the girl in there. And uh, they send little charms of her in nearly every box if you haven't gone on to the trend by now. Okay, so that's what all those are about. Is I didn't realize that they were um, the actual the Loot Crate anime's like mascot. I didn't realize that's what that's what those were. That's what she was. I thought they were some part of uh, another just anime or manga. So that's kind of interesting. About it and looked into it. Turns out that yes, she is their mascot. Well, that's pretty cool. So there you go, guys. Um, all right, you want to go with another one there, and uh, we'll just keep this ball rolling. We'll start with this one. This one has been mentioned before in one of the other uh, anime loot boxes, and uh, this is Noragami. It's an anime about a world full of gods that people worship, and it follows the story of one god in particular, uh, Yato. And um, his story of meeting with a girl who almost died trying to protect him. Oh, I remember that because I, I think I saw I think I saw an episode or or t a couple of episodes I think of that. I don't think I've got the chance to finish that, but that was that was actually pretty interesting. So he's actually kind of more of a minor god, isn't he? And then he sits there and he goes out and he does like odd jobs, and it's only for like what five cents or something like that yep. but he he leaves his phone number around all over the place like he basically graffitis everywhere but you can't see it unless you have a need that he can fulfill right exactly okay awesome so what now what is the picture of this this is it seems to be uh yato with his weapon um I forget the specific names for their weapons, but they're lost souls that can be found and utilized as blades or any other type of weapon. Yeah, he like binds them to him. Yes. Like they, they basically go under a contract and then they can be used as a 
as a, in a sense, they go from being a spirit form person to like a physical weapon, uh, then, I guess. And then is that her there? with the girl who yeah. nearly died and is sort of trapped in between the realms of the spirits and the living and her spirit often escapes from her body and she's left to roam around with her body left behind okay yeah yeah and i remember and sometimes she doesn't even realize that her body left exactly or that her spirit left she just starts going and then she realizes her body's laying there somewhere so pretty neat pretty neat um all right we want to pick another one uh, i'll go with this one this is another art book as was shown before in one of the other uh, loot crates, so this one seems to be a bit more professionally done, and it's the art of one artist in particular. His name is Yoshitaka Amano, and um, he does a bunch of supernatural and sci-fi type art, and uh, for a lot of animes, video games, and things of that sort, and I could showcase some of the art in here. Um, some of it is a bit um, mature for uh, certain audiences. Okay, so there's something to keep in mind. Now, there wasn't a, uh, a disclaimer on the box this time, so hopefully these aren't uh, real risque. But just in case, uh, keep that in mind if you guys are uh, purchasing some of these boxes. So, as can be seen here, some of his more famous works are shown in this book. And those definitely have the the Asian kind of look to them, Japanese and Oriental and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely the line the line work and everything else, um, watercolors and whatnot. Definitely very nice looking from what I can see. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Definitely, definitely something that's nice, especially for a collector um, or an aficionado of. Uh, of the artistic works, especially from the mm -hmm. So, you know what? You've done all those. I think I'm going to take over for this one. Now, uh, as you can see on the front of the box there, it does say Mushishi. Uh, Mushishi. Now, uh, Mushishi is uh, it's based around one guy, and uh, I, I'm forgetting his name. It's like Genji, I think, is close to what his name is. Um, and the whole thing is there are these beings that are called Mushi. And uh, they're basically kind of, they're like lesser beings. Um, you think of like humans as being up kind of the dominant ones because we're, uh, we're the most intelligent basically and we're sentient and everything like that. And then you kind of work your way down where you, then you've got animals, then you go into plants and then you go into like bacteria and things like that. Well, the Mushi are actually below all of those. They're the most basic. And because of that, uh, they're kind of ethereal. Um, they're, they're almost, they're not actually spirits, um, but they're very close to it because they're at such a low level of, um, uh, of like, existence, I guess. And uh, they're, most people don't know, don't know of them or they, don't see, they can't see them or perceive them. And so uh, you've got this gentleman who he's kind of the catalyst for all these different for the different stories there. This is available on Netflix and I do have it on my thing and I haven't watched it just yet, but I did look into it um, as well as there are the mangas and um, in them, uh, he basically goes around and rents his services off to help with any of the uh, problems that the Mushi have created with people. Sometimes they create illnesses and stuff, of course, you know, just like bacteria do. And uh, it's just the, the kind of, he's the catalyst to kind of see about the different stories. Uh, and it's basically a collection of short stories. There's no like overlying plot to the whole thing. Uh, but pretty interesting, something, something kind of neat. Now, of course, these are uh, simple cups and you can see the Mushi uh, right there in uh, English and then in the Japanese and then on the back side you can see the gentleman uh, and he happens to be standing next to a tree and uh, he just he happens to roam around and uh, you know like I said leases or rents his services out to help uh, correct any any uh, 
problems that may have been caused by the Mushi. Now, of course, they're not trying, as, as he says, they're not actually trying to hurt anybody. They're not evil. It's just they're trying to survive. And of course, just like bacteria, bacteria aren't evil. They just are trying to survive and procreate just like any other organism. So, you know, pretty, pretty uh, simple and straightforward. And uh, you've got a close-up there of his head, and then, of course, the, the full body look there. So, pretty nice. Um, kind of, I, I usually see something like this, I think, as teacups. Um, so, I think these are very nice, and I think these are something that I'm going to be keeping. So, um, I, think, uh, I think you're out of luck with these ones. I don't take too many things off of these. I think I usually let you have most of the stuff, but there's a couple things, especially ones like that, that uh, I think are pretty cool. So... We've got the one last one there, so why don't you go ahead and tell us about that one. So this is a figurine of a character from a famous manga series. JoJo's A Bizarre Adventure is about a family of people who cannot be nicknamed JoJo, which is part of a big reason why it's called JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And um, they have these supernatural powers. It's about them going and using these powers, and as the manga goes on, it's separated into different parts, and each of these different parts centers around one of the different members of the family. Uh, pretty, pretty interesting. Now, it looks like this person's name is Josuke Higashikata. So, I, I Higashikata. assume I'm... Higashikata. Okay, so, Josuke Higashikata. Uh, and I'm sure I'm probably still killing that, but, um, and it says it's JoJo's figure gallery, so I'm guessing maybe there's a few of these, um, that, that, uh, go together, uh, probably a handful of, of different ones. Now, and this one says part four. This one, so. this, uh, particular man is from the part four of the series. Like I said, it's split up into separate parts. So, okay. And part four he i suppose would be the um main kind of the, dom yeah. the dominant character in that one so kind of kind of a neat looking one has has a little bit of a, a a interesting kind of look and quality to him all right everybody well here we've got our handful of of goodies and products and and everything um we of course have the the poster as usual we've got the charm and uh, we did get the art book, the, the pin there, as well as the figurine. And then, of course, these nice, uh, uh, I'll call them teacups, um, because usually that's kind of what they're, what you kind of use them for. At least that's what I've seen for them. And uh, I think that'll, that'll go ahead and do it. This is probably going to be the last episode. Um, it is the sixth box. We only originally planned on three boxes, but we went ahead and let the uh, service re-up one time. If you guys want to check out any of the uh, Loot Crate anime stuff, uh, want to see how much the uh, services are for you know, the different box collections and whatnot, you can go down there in the description below and we will have a link to that. As well as we also have our links to our social media. So don't forget to check all that stuff out while you're down there. And of course on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Let's me know that you like the content and would like to see more. There's uh, also going to be a little icon that's going to be floating around down over there somewhere. Or if you don't happen to see it, go down below the video. That is the subscribe button down there. Make sure you hit that and select that little bell icon that's right next to it and set it up to be notified of new videos that will be coming out here on World of Me. All right, everybody. Well, I... Uh, I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye!